If you're shooting video, if you're a videographer, if you're a cinematographer, or you want to be one, and you don't have a monitor, you need to get one. If you're doing anything but vlogging, you need to get a monitor. The only time you won't need a monitor is if you're just vlogging. Well, I wouldn't say need. You don't need a monitor, but it'll make a big difference in a couple of ways with like your workflow and your skill set versus not having a monitor. I'm not gonna waste y'all time. This is really gonna be just a short and quick explanation and kind of a breakdown. If you don't have one of these right here, not this one exactly, this is a field world monitor. This is like a really cheap monitor actually. I got this for like 110 bucks. I mean, it's not even, for how big it is, it's not even touch screen. I can't even really do anything on it, but that's not the point. If you don't have a monitor and you're doing weddings, you're doing behind the scenes, you're doing interviews, you're doing documentaries, and especially on the cinematography, documentary side of things, and interview side of things, you need to get a monitor. Now you might be able to slide by without having a monitor doing a wedding or whatever, because I've done a few without having a monitor, but anything that is not vlogging with the camera, I, I highly recommend getting a monitor. Who don't want to see and look at things on the bigger screen rather than having to look at that small monitor on the back of the camera. A lot of people, even me, at one point, I was like, dang, is my camera messed up or am I just, in my trash because no matter how good I think I set my, my, my settings, my ISO is low, you know what I'm saying? My, my, my f-stop is, is as low as it can be. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm letting in as much light as I can. And then my shutter speed is, is, is double the frame rate. Why, why is my quality not looking good? And I'm, and I'm like, I'm seeing a lot of noise and I'm seeing my focus is not on, it's blurry and this and that. And I'm just like, bro, is it the camera? Is it me? Whole time, I'm like, no. It's, you don't have a monitor, you, you need a monitor because no matter what you see on a small screen, it's not always true and correct because we all know that when you edit on a big monitor, like behind me, you see all the issues with the color, you see all the grain, you see all the noise, you see all the things that's out of focus that should be in focus and stuff like that. But when you export that video from a big monitor to your phone and you watch it on your phone, you're like, oh, it don't look as bad as I thought. That's just because the screen is smaller. So like you, you're able to kind of like hide and cover up a lot more of those mistakes to kind of just summarize it basically. But when you put things on the bigger screen, you can see more of the issue and more of what's being shown. A lot of times it's not even you, it's the fact that you can't really see what the mistakes are because you're looking on the small screen on the back of the camera, which like I said, if you're getting into the video side of things, a monitor, a monitor. I forgot what size monitor this is, but it's a decent standard size monitor. I'm linking in the description if you're looking to get this one or one in general, it's like a starter monitor. I just needed to get something to see. Don't go out here getting no fat monitors like big, that's like huge like this and you got a whole ZV-E1 shooting off of that. Now like the monitor weighs more than the camera itself. So now you got an issue with balancing and whatnot. But for all my videographers, for all my cinematographers, for all my filmmakers, um, soon to be you're already and, you're, and you don't have one, Go get you a monitor, man. Improve your quality, improve your workload, improve just your overall work in general, man. You'll see a drastic change and a better experience while having a monitor. Uh, really quick, off topic. I don't understand why I'm talking and you haven't subscribed yet. You should be subscribed if you're not already subscribed. You should be liking the video. Second off, you, you guys know that we use the DJI mics pretty often for the videos here and whatnot. How about the last video I just shot, which was the website video, I actually broke the DJI mic, which I believe is this one here. I, I, I broke it. It's broken. As you can see, once you open it, the, the monitor doesn't, the, this doesn't come on. The receiver doesn't come on. I broke the screen. Can we get the focus on that? Yeah, I, I actually broke the screen. So it doesn't work anymore. I was recording, well, I was about to record, setting up my lights, and my light fell on top of the camera, and the camera fell on his head, but it fell on the chair that I'm sitting in. But the bad thing was that I already had the DJI mic mounted on top of the camera, so when it fell, this was the only thing that really took the fall damage and cracked the screen, so this no longer works. So the same day I was like, okay, can I buy the receiver itself or do I gotta buy the entire set over again? I ended up just buying an entire new, I just bought an entire, you know, entire new mic set. The mics are still good, they work solid and everything, but the receiver, it, it doesn't work anymore. So who doesn't want to have four mics? Because although I can't really use this whole set and I can't link, I can't link four mics. I can't link, I can't link four mics to one transmitter. I can still have them record individually and use that audio for whatever. So yeah, that was all topic. Anyways, wrapping up, like I said, yeah, a monitor, Definitely get you a monitor if you're into video, if you're not vlogging. If you're vlogging, I understand, man, you don't need one. You're just vlogging, flip the screen, not turn it around, do what you gotta do, handle your business. But if you're doing 
any kind of video. I don't care if you're doing behind the scenes, I don't care if you're doing social media content, whatever. Link is in the description. In my eyes, this is a starter monitor, but um, if I had to really like give y'all a review on this monitor, I think it's very good. One thing I don't like about this monitor is it's not touchscreen. And then like the menu is kind of basic and simple. And getting up out of here, man, video's been too long. I'm trying to hit under eight minutes. So I'm holla child and holla child. Much love. And I'm out.